Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea or lovelytea.net. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole XXX Dance Tal Shion situation. So as you guys all know, I posted yesterday on Instagram um, that Pitchfork.com, they were able to get some type of secret recording of XXX, and it's gone viral all over social media. And basically in the secret recording, it's a 27-minute recording, um, but they've only released about a minute and 20 seconds. And in this part, he's basically confessing to domestic violence against his then girlfriend, um, and then also stabbing eight people, eight or nine people, something like that. It's a really disturbing audio. Like I got chills listening to it last night, and it caused a huge debate on my Instagram. Folks were going back and forth. I mean, I understand he has a lot of fans, and it was just a mess. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio really quick. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I uploaded the video, and when I tell you they blocked the video worldwide all over YouTube, here's the screenshot before I took the video down so I cannot play this audio. I think now they're trying to hide the truth because they know YouTube is a big platform and they don't want this to get out as much. So if you guys have not heard the audio, it's on my Instagram page or else you can go on to pitchfork.com, listen to the audio, check it out, and then come back and listen to the rest to my commentary. All right, so you guys just heard that disturbing audio. So I wanted to put this into, you know, context. You know, some folks were accusing me of um, somehow getting the audio. Like, bitch, I don't have that much damn power. I was sent it, I reposted it, okay? Um, so stop with the damn conspiracies. But anyhow, so this is what Pitchfork is reporting. When he was shot and killed in June, Florida rapper XXX Destanchion was awaiting trial for a 2016 domestic violence case involving a former girlfriend. He was charged by Miami-Dade County State's Attorney Office with aggravated battery of a pregnant victim, domestic battery by strangulation, false imprisonment, and witness tampering accusations the alleged victim detailed in a January 2017 disposition. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and maintained his innocence up until his death. Now Pitchfork has obtained a secretly recorded tape of XXX talking with acquaintances around the time of his October 8th 2016 arrest, discussing his ex-girlfriend, who he believed cheated on him. XXX can be heard saying, I put my source of happiness in another person, which was a mistake initially, right? But she fell through on every occasion until now, until I started fucking her up, bruh. I started fucking her up because she made one mistake, and from there, the whole cycle went down. That girl is scared for her life, which I understand. He did not detail what he had done to the alleged victim. Earlier in the recording, he said, I will kill that bitch if she plays with me. Pitchfork acquired a 27-minute tape from the Miami-Dade County Attorney's Office. According to the office, both the prosecution and XXX Extension's defense considered the tape a confession. Criminal cases, the criminal case against XXX, whose real name was Jase Onfre, were closed after his death. His most recent defense attorney did not return Pitchfork's emails or phone calls prior to the deadline. The state attorney's office provided the name of the person who made the recording. An acquaintance of XXX Extension, the person declined to comment to Pitchfork. The state attorney's office did not provide the identity of the person on the tape and their identities are unclear. In the recording, XXX acquaintance can be heard telling him that he cannot have private time with the alleged victim and trying to talk him down from thoughts of suicide. On the tape, in addition to the threats against his ex-girlfriend, XXX also refers to a stabbing incident in Deerfield Beach, Florida, saying, I'm now on Miami Times, I'm now on the Miami News Times for stabbing. How many people they put in the news? They said three, it was eight. On January 24th, 2016, a local Florida newspaper reported that the police were searching for the person who stabbed three people during a fight in Deerfield Beach. There is no recording of anyone being charged with the stabbing, but a Broward County Sheriff's Office report from the incident states that witnesses saw an unknown black male with tattoos on his face swinging a knife in multiple directions. 
Triple X also admitted to stabbing a former manager, an incident that he was arrested for in Orange County, Florida, in Orange County, Florida on July 14th of 2016 before being released on bond and shortly afterwards. These acts of violence were mentioned on the tape to explain why his ex-girlfriend was scared for her life. She's seen this shit. She knows. After going to jail over the allegations in October 2016, XXX went to the top of the Billboard album chart. He has continued to galvanize debate even after his passing, breaking a streaming record previously held by Taylor Swift. His comments in the tape further hint at some of the bleak themes in his music. You've ever seen somebody get their tongue cut out? You ever seen somebody get raped? You ever seen somebody try to kill your mom in front of you? He added an he acts an unidentified man by way of explaining how events he's witnessed affected his own violent behavior. Every night you go to sleep and you remember what you've seen, you remember how it felt, and you remember that horrible feeling in your soul. Nobody can comfort you. It's something you got to deal with. So that is what's being reported by Pitchfork. And like I said, the audio was very disturbing. And I know a lot of people are excusing it. And um, there's no excuse for that audio. One of my tea sippers, she had sent me a deleted post by XXX girlfriend, well, his ex-girlfriend at the time, where she had posted something and she ended up deleting it. But my tea sipper was able to grab it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you that here. So this is the post that my tea sipper caught and the ex-girlfriend deleted it. And she says, LOL, crazy how literally everyone is either thanking me or shitting on me for dropping charges when that shit happened on its own. On its own, having nothing to do with me. I don't care how much love I have for him, it still happened and I never cower or switch up. Just because men's of people hate me, they're saying that they now have closure because the charges are dropped. That's great and all, but I'll never have closure because he was taken from the world before he got to admit that he before he got to admit that he did what he did. People say I ruined his life. I didn't ruin anything. I'd say I implemented it, but my life was implemented just as bad, maybe even worse. Except now I have to deal with it all on my own. A whole new wave of hate. It's crazy how people can say something, then the whole world goes along with it just because they like how it sounds. When have I ever admitted I was lying? Never, because I never lied about anything. So that's what my tea sipper ended up finding. And she ended up deleting that shortly after. So a lot of people never got a chance to see that. So this entire situation is really crazy. You know, at the end of the day, yes, he's dead and there's nothing that can be done to him, you know, but I don't like how people are trying to dismiss it and say, well, because he's dead, this shouldn't even be talked about. Why is this being brought up? Why is this being put out there? Um, it's always good to have genuine discussion, especially when it's about something that's factual. At this point in time, you have his voice on tape admitting to something. This is not doctored. It's not fake. You know what I mean? And I think that it's good to have the open discussion because, you know, he was a troubled young man and anybody trying to act like he wasn't, you're delusional. He was, he's been through a lot of stuff. He saw a lot. He was very much abused. You know, he went through a lot in his short time here on earth. And I think that all of that stuff needs to be addressed. And I think that people need to take, you know, the things that he went through, take that as a lesson learned and learn from that and try and find ways to better your life. There's an old saying that goes, Learn from the mistakes of other people so that way you're not destined to repeat them. So this is why I love having dialogue about things like this because there's so many young people who are in this situation. There's young men out here who are frustrated and angry and feel like they have the right to put their hands on young women. And there's young women out here who think that this shit is okay when it's not. So I think if anything, this is causing a good discussion about domestic violence and how we're so quick to shame women and so quick to shame the victim depending Depending on who the perpetrator is, okay? Just because they're a celebrity or a well known rapper, you know, it's brushed under the rug. Look how many celebrities are standing behind Fabulous after everybody watched that video of how he was ready to attack Emily B, the father, and everything else. Um, it was reported that her teeth were knocked out, but look how many celebrities still stand with him. They tiptoe around the topic. They don't want to talk about it. So it's a dirty little secret, and I'm glad that this is being exposed, and it's showing it in its rawest form, because when this came out, a lot of people attacked that young girl, said she was a liar, this was all her fault. 
And now you're hearing in X's own words that he did that shit, okay? He's admitting that he did that to her. So the entire situation is just really, really disturbing, you know, but I think that people need to take this as a lesson learned. And I'm not making this video to demonize him or to talk ill of the dead, but again, people still need to be held accountable for their actions regardless if they're here or not. So again, you know, people are always gonna be judged regardless if you're here or not here. People are always gonna have an opinion. And I think that it's okay to talk about this it's okay to have dialogue on this situation. And yes, is it suspicious that all of a sudden this has been leaked? You know, you got folks saying they're just trying to tarnish a young black man's image. But again, if he participated and he did this and he's admitting to doing this, how much more tarnishing can they do? He did it. You know what I'm saying? And then I see a lot of people bringing up Vic Mensa and saying, oh, well, Vic Mensa was right. And, you know, everything he was saying is correct. Well, you know, yeah, he might have been right. He might have been right, but Vic Mensa himself is not innocent because other people were saying that Vic Mensa has also been involved in domestic situations with the ex-girlfriend himself. The situation just, it just went far. You know what I'm saying? And it passed a point of normality to the point where it was, happening in my life with my girl that it's like I know I'm the one percent of people that ha has experienced this specific extremity um well, what, and there's did you a lot just of having sex with a lot of girls at festivals and no stuff? no no I'm what? talking about between me and her how, how far it went yeah I mean I was just he like, choked her out in the song but that's that's the beginning of the story okay. that, that, right. that's 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 the when most you realize that, this is I going probably, yeah, I mean that's when I realized that Wow, but that was like maybe two years or something before we broke up. So in my album, I deal with like a lot more of just like some crazy. A lot of people would that. never. It's almost like the pot calling the kettle black. That's why I. That's why I believe in my heart of hearts that discussions like this need to be had. You have a lot of young men who believe that this behavior is okay, and you have young women who also think that it's okay to be abused. You know, as long as they're living a lifestyle that they're accustomed to, it's all right for somebody to treat you any type of way. You know, as long as they decide to marry you after the fact, <laughs> Emily B. It's okay for a man to knock out your teeth, and this is a stigma that we have to fight against. So I'm really glad that these tapes were leaked. I'm glad that it's causing a discussion. I'm glad that folks are speaking on everything. I want to bring this to everybody's attention and talk about this on my platform as well. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. How do you feel about the audio being leaked online? And then how do you feel about what XXX said in his own words? And um, last but not least, how do you guys feel about the young girl who is basically chastised and harassed and everything else online? And now I feel so happy that this young girl is not being vindicated. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.